all today on Black Pear Meeting Shooting. I always love to try to fulfill viewers' requests whenever possible. And here's one that's from two different fellas asking for pretty much the same thing. Let's get into it and see what they're asking. The Crisco Kid from MuzzleloadingForum.com asked, How about going to the local hardware store and buying a few 3H inch dowels? You could do a video on the accuracy and penetration of a ramrod as a last ditch effort to keep your hair. Well, I ain't got much hair left, but uh, we're certainly going to try that. <laughs> and also, Pratt writes, When someone launches a ramrod, we shout, White Whale! When they dry ball, someone would say, Mmm, a silencer. <laughs> well, let's don't have any silencers today, but let's see if we can get some white whales on the target. What we're going to try to do today at 25 yards is shoot that old metal tabletop. One of those big tabletops that you use at a, on a patio. But behind the very center is a gallon milk jug full of water. Can I put a ramrod through that little hole and take it out? Will the ramrod survive being hit on that thing? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Ear and eye protection is strongly recommended. This is my go-to guru gun for these type of uh, wacky experiments. <laughs> it's a Pedersoy Kentucky 50 caliber flintlock. I've had this rascal since 2013. It's got a different lock in it because I wore two of them out on it already. And the barrel's been coned. But I don't think any of that's going to make any difference today when we're shooting ramrods. Yeah, you know how it is when you get to the range sometimes. We're going to put 50 grains of shoots and three aft down in this rascal. And you get your patch out. You get to talking about how attractive Sandra Bullock is. And you get your patch all lined up. Get a ball on there and you just shove it home. And you get to talking to your buddies over at the side. And you say, yeah, Sandra Bullock, she's pretty, pretty attractive. That's for sure. And it's your turn to shoot. And you get ready to line up and... Uh, <laughs> Let's just see what happens. So we got a, uh, a 3 8 inch thick dowel rod, 48 inches long. You think I can get one to go right through that little tiny hole, hit that milk jug? White whale! White whale! I got the target and the ramrod split in half. Ouch! That's gonna cost you to replace it. <laughs> There's where it hit. I thought maybe go through it, but it didn't. Here's what's left of your ramrod. <laughs> I found three pieces of it. I don't know where the rest of it went to. And now while you're talking to your buddy, he says, uh, yeah, Sandra Bullock is pretty attractive, but Christy Brinkley is also attractive. And you get all sidetracked thinking about this kind of stuff. You may leave your ramrod in the gun. White whale! White whale! <laughs> the target acted just like I wanted it to do. Always when you shoot these type of targets, a little tidbit for the day is shoot them off at an angle. So that way no projectiles will come and bother you. Hit right there and deflect it that direction. And here's what's left of the rod. I can't find the yellow part of it. <laughs> Over there in the weeds probably. Right. I even moved the milk jug on the front side. We better chance of hitting that rascal. Let's uh, put it to us. See if we can get that milk jug. Yeah. White whale. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's pieces of that one. <laughs> you know how hard it is to aim this thing when you look through the sight and you can see the Ramrod sticking out of the barrel? White oh, whale! Hey, I got it! <laughs> yeah! 
Yes! Check this out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now the other half broke off in there. There's part of the rod. And the other part's floating that in the jug. How awesome is that? That's pretty cool. White whale! White whale! Woo, baby! <laughs> Let's try a little distance, see how uh, far away you have to be before you can actually get struck by this rascal. If you happen to keep it loaded and forget to take your ammo out. Nowhere like that. White whale! White whale! Oh, it went down like a missile and stuck right in the ground. <laughs> Let's go down and find it and show you. 57, 58. <laughs> it's still got the yellow one in, but look how it turned black with all that powder on here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. White whale! Ooh, I didn't even see it. Ooh, I might take a walk down and see if I can find that rascal. Oh, well, my friends. <laughs> I walked 263 paces from up there where that barn is, that house, and I still can't find it. So it is probably in this brush somewhere, and I am not going down there to look for it. White whale! White whale! That one went out there about 40 yards and dove straight to the ground like a missile. Oh, it's stuck in the ground. This time, from the yellow. Can we make it happen this time? White whale! <laughs> White whale! Whoa! <laughs> Looked like a part of it split off and flew over top. White whale! Gosh, almost knocked it down. <laughs> White whale! Woo, that's a lot of power for a ramrod. Talk about some power of the black powder. I wasn't going to show this, but I just spotted this a few minutes ago when I ever set the target back up. Ugh, look in the corner of this tree. That went in there about an inch. Wow, what a shot! I know the tree's kind of half dying, but man, what a cool shot. There's the other half of it. I could say the other third of it, because I don't know what's happened to the yellow part. I'll tell you what, let me show you this. I just have to know this. Notice this, right underneath the milk jug. There is one that went through there. Well, ain't that slick. I don't know which shot that was until I get home and edit it. So to save your hair there, Mr. Cisco kid, that might qualify. The last few shots has been um, really heavily loaded. So this time it's got 25 grains of shoots and 3F in there and double patch with 14,000. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's see if it even gets there. I'm sure it will, but what kind of damage can we do with it? White whale! Whoa! <laughs> it hit the ground and broke and flew up in the tree and came back down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see if I we can whack it out this time. Come on, Mark, hit it. White whale! White whale! I don't believe I got it, but I saw the dowel rod splinter into pieces. Well, in conclusion, you can see I got a lot of uh, brand new <laughs> scrap wood to start a fire with. So Mr. Cisco kid, looks like you absolutely can save your hair if you shot your ramrod out of your gun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And remember, Jesus does love you. And we'll catch you next Sunday on some of the wild and woolly fun adventure on the Black Powder Maniac Shooters channel. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>